Hello there guys, it's me Jag, Gimpy Dwarf, and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. So, today I come to you bearing a world download that you can access and check out for yourself. Now what I've called it is sport vehicles, like civilian sport vehicles, and what these actually are is something I don't normally do, and I figured I'd, I'd sort of venture out into the realms of things I don't really create. And this is what I basically got done. So there are five ships here and as I said these are more like civilian sport vehicles but what I'm going to do is allow them onto the workshop so you guys can take them, use them for whatever you want, customise them, kit them out with different things and use them to however you want to use them because some people come to me with questions saying you know how would you go about building a ship like this or you know I, I can't build so I don't really post anything to the workshop this is just proof that you can post anything really to the workshop uh, you know as long as you're, you're comfortable with it and you think it's good then you know don't really care for what everyone else says so we'll start off with the biggest one which is by far the most elaborate design I've ever come up with and um, now these do take advantage of very simple systems inside they all have um, attachments at the bottom to allow for you know, um, cargo transfer and things like that. This thing does have a massive like carrying capacity as well, um, with, via like small cargo sh containers. And I've used the wings to their advantage, adding like stabilization thrusters and things to the front and to the backs of them. And the colour scheme I like as well. It's very bright. It's very sport-like, and I will give this a bit of a fly around as well. So if I hop into this now, as you see, this doesn't actually land flat. It actually lands slightly askew. If I hit P and go Y, we turn it on and the lights are instantly on. So these are like sport vehicles, reason why is because how fast they actually get up to speed. So these are just like dedicated just to be like sort of, I don't know, like drag racer type things. Like something that you would you would race your friends in more than anything. And maybe I'll, I'll put them all to the test with some of the guys. But uh, for now I figured I'd sort of show you guys, you know, some of the different designs I've come up with. And how you don't need to build in the same format or you know once you build in one format it's it's not always as scary as you think it is to, to sort of you know jump into a different format of ship like I'm normally used to building military ships with plenty of rockets and cool little features like that and rotors and very complicated conveyor sy systems and I don't do that with these these are literally some of the simplest designs I've ever come up with in, like with this one for instance they have no names by the way so I'll just call them this one and that one like for this one for instance this one actually has just like the um, the connector and then it's literally tubed up there into the engine and that's its carrying capacity it's just what it can carry, what it can carry in the engines now if you're wondering where the hell do these come from and where can I use them if you go into the G menu it's in with the azimuth stuff and you have the V8 engine which is the bigger version which is what you're looking at now and then you have the V8 engine turbo which is a smaller version but a bit more it can produce more power I believe but yeah so this is like the second one it's more of a plain design than anything else and I went with black and orange just because I figured different colors you know race car sort of colors and I figured Lamborghinis tend to be black and Lamborghinis also tend to be orange so black and orange it was so if I jump in this one, this one is very much like a plane, so I'll only fly it in a straight line, you don't really need to know how well it moves, but uh, if I hit Y and hit P, as you see this thing can sort of get off to a good start, and it is pretty damn nimble because the amount of gyroscopes in this is quite minimal, I've got four in here, but for a small ship that allows it to, to do so much, and you know it it doesn't max out your power or anything the power usage on these with that one engine is well one reactor is just brilliant so I'm gonna move on to the next one there which is by far my favorite design and I am actually gonna take this one and use it as a fighter concept um, for like a miniature fighter very cheap on dis on actual sort of resources can be hooked up to a um, like conveyor system and I'm not sure on the color scheme but as a ship it looks freaking gorgeous so if we go P and go Y um, as you see it's blue lighted and when we take off this thing just goes it goes takes a while to slow down which I may 
address with further updates to the ship when I use it for things in a carrier. Now I am looking at new carrier designs and maybe making something as uh, like you know like the heli carrier but a bit smaller. But currently, as it stands, I have nothing really set in stone, so I'm definitely taking a while to think over a carrier design because I don't really want it to be something really crap. So, oh, oh. So if I land this one with its weird landing gear at the back, the reason why I did that is because I didn't want it the landing gear at the front, just because it looked a bit nicer in all fairness. It looks a bit like a bird to me. So. Let's jump out of that one. The next one is by far the quickest thing ever, and it's probably like the sprinter. Again, it's got one engine or one reactor. It's got one connector at the bottom there, and those are hooked up. And it's got these two Sage engines, which may I say produce a hell of a ton of power. And the colour scheme, I actually like the red and black. I, the, the red colour, I don't know how I managed to get that colour, but I like it. So if hit P, go Y. Now this thing, be warned, it does go pretty damn quick off the mark, so there we go, it's instantly up to like full speed. That's that, that's how quick it is, however it takes a while to slow down. So that thing just got super, 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 super far away without even needing to sort of, you know, use up a lot of power. So this thing is, is like literally like your sprinter where your pilot can th fly through a battlefield, not even get shot because he's moving so quickly. It's just, you know, brilliant, but again, as I called them now sports vehicles at the moment because of their speed and agility and they may get, be converted into like fighters and heavy fighters and things like that in the future but again this just to point out these ships took this one is pretty much the same so I'm not really going to go over this one it's basically the same as that one as the orange and black one just a little bit smaller but these ships guys didn't actually take me long to build they all probably I don't know how long you're probably thinking in your head, but these ships all together took me about 35 minutes to build all of them. So it doesn't take a long time to build sort of you know some nimble, cra like crafty little ships. And again, they all they all look good and all look like they could serve a certain purpose. So I mean, <clears throat> this one could be the more defensive fighter that has like you know winglets that protect. The, the driver has it has like things that could be blown off and that's the reason why they're there so they can take the flak a bit like a TIE fighter from Star Wars and um, like two of them mashed together actually and then like a weird cockpit in the middle and um, this one probably more like you could probably maybe attach a lot more cargo inside and it could just be like your light sort of jet that you can fly around and like maybe a personal like general's jet where he can fl he can jump in his own ship and fly away and go back to shore and things make it like a private craft of sorts and this one again as I am going to be using it for is more of a like super quick nimble fighter that is very cheap to replace it's all light armor it's only got one engine sure if the engine gets hit it's it's done for but again if it can get in there take a you know have a few shots at something again it's got the wings so it'll take damage on the wings and then get out of there you know it's it's quite a good design i may work on it a bit more may enclose the engine but we'll see and then you got this one which could be more like a bomber class maybe put rocket pods on it heavy armor and just make it so it can be quite fast to get in there shoot a few things and get the hell out of there and then this one again maybe more like a private craft Maybe just for like um, training purposes, like a training vehicle, where they would train to fly the bigger one. So these two could probably be like cousins or something. But yeah, so those are the ships, guys. So this world will be on the workshop. It is actually on the workshop as I'm speaking. So I'll put the link in the description to that. Please go and check it out. If you're, I don't know how to put it. If you guys aren't very, if you can't really build on the fly and have to go for other ideas. Or you know you you are struggling for inspiration like I do sometimes. Take these ideas, play around with them, mix them up a bit. I'm not going to be mad or angry if you guys take one of these ships and completely change the lot of it. Just th these are like a playground for you guys to so take them, play around with them, have some fun with them, and see what you you guys come up with. And if you do come up with anything good and worthwhile that you maybe would like me to check out then don't forget to put it on the Steam Workshop page thing 
um, the Steam group page and check that out. I'll also link that in the description as well. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please like, favorite, and of course subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.